Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here. All right, that was a little bit weird, but thanks for the introduction, Fred. Anyway, guys, I am bringing you my first very creator pet. And of course, it's my little pupper, my very own pupper. You guys probably know him. If you follow me on Twitter, you see all the doggo spam because I'm obsessed with this little angel of mine. He is incredible. So this is gonna be a solid eight minutes of me gushing over my puppy and I'm so excited about it. <laughs> so Fred's actual breed isn't in The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. He is a Cairn Terrier and of course when I went to Sims Camp that was the very first thing that I looked for. It's really easy to find breeds in the game. However, the team can't obviously cover thousands and thousands of dog breeds, so I understand why he's not. And also, the great thing about The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs create a pet is that it's super easy to mix breeds together, give them different coats, give them different colours, and really get into that detail that make your pets individual. So that was a really big help when creating Mr. Fred Bears. So there isn't a can in the game. However, the Yorkie's like facial shape kind of looks like Fred. I will put up a reference picture like for a couple of seconds so you guys can check out the real Fred. And yeah, he kind of looked like a Yorkie in the game, but he has a yellower coat and he kind of looks like a Westie but with a yellow coat and big ears. I don't know, he's a really weird mix. Fun fact, when we first got Fred, he was actually a surprise to my mum. She had been kind of talking about getting a dog for a while because I was obviously in school a lot of the time and also our family had gone through like a really tough time and we all felt that she was kind of taking it pretty hard and was pretty lonely at that point in time and whenever she used to, my mum rarely gets drunk, like she never gets drunk now but even then she rarely used to but whenever she did we'd be like mum can we get a dog and she'd be like yeah I totally want a dog like a little Westie or a little Bichon Frise so we took that as an opportunity to mum wants a dog she's just not letting us on to the fact that she really wants one. So my brother went out and bought this little guy. He was the runt of the litter and he came straight up to them and they were like, we can't say no to him because he's so cute. He just gave them the big brown stare of Fredbear. And let me tell you, it's really hard to resist. I've been trying for 11 years of his life and it never works. He gets me every single time. So my brother brought him back and my mum just burst out into tears and he's pretty much the best thing that's ever happened to our family. I was definitely more of a cat person before we got him. Um, our family always had cats and rabbits. Those were like our two pets. We had never had a dog before so he's our first one. Mum doesn't even want to replace him when he does pass away, which I don't even want to think about. Dad wants a new one, mum doesn't, because she's like, none of them will ever be Fred, <laughs> which is so true. And his little floppy ears, just his little face. I'm doing this voiceover right now, and I'm just getting distracted by the fact he is so cute, and he genuinely looks like the real life dog so much. Like, it's impressive. So he's got a lot of red in him as well. It's kind of like a darker yellow and then like browny red. So on his paws, he has a magnificent beard. It's really funny. Whenever I tell anyone that my dog's called Fred, they're like, Fred isn't a dog's name. Why did you call him that? And I'm like, wait, let me show you a picture of him. And they see his little like tash that he's got going on, his little red tash and his ginger beard and they're like nope he's definitely a Fred. He looks 
like an old man. And he's always looked that way. Even since being a little baby, his beard's only got more and more red as he's got older. It's like going grey, but for a Cairn Terrier, it's going red. You just end up with a red beard, red paws, a little bit of a red tail, and a red stripe down your back. So the tools in The Sims 4 made it super easy for me to really paint and add a lot of detail onto him. A lot of the detail that probably normal Cairn Terriers don't have. It's very rare that they have big floppy ears. However, he does. He's never really grown into his ears, which is one thing I love about him because he does the whole one ear up, one ear down thing, gives me the puppy dog eyes and it's just adorable. I'm glad he doesn't have short little stubby westy ears because I like his big floppy ones. <laughs> he takes after his owner. But as I was saying, I got totally distracted just looking at his cuteness, but when we first got him, my brother bought him as a westy. He got him, I think from a breeder, I'm assuming. I've never really asked, but I'm assuming it was from a breeder. And she was like, yeah, yeah, he's a westy. And like, he saw his mum and everything and she did look like a westy. Um, so he just bought him assuming that he was a West Highland Terrier and was like, yeah, that's fine. We'll take him. Like, we can't leave him now. He's too cute to just leave. So they brought him back home and then we took him to the vets because he was pretty ill because they sold him to us, unfortunately, way before the time he was meant to come home. So he was still meant to be with his mum. So I definitely wouldn't go back to that breeder if she was a breeder anyway because clearly she didn't know what she was doing unfortunately for us because we had to then take care of him for the next four weeks of his life and his stomach's never really been the same little little sub story there to match the puppy dog eyes that he's giving to us while I'm adding more detail onto his beard so we took him to the vets and they were like oh He's meant to be a Westie and we were like, yeah, is he not? Like we had thought he looked a little bit too yellow to be a Westie, like he was more cream rather than really white, which is what you Westies usually are. And the vet was like, oh, I think you may have been missold him. And we were like, oh, why? And he's like, I reckon he's a can or he's at least like his dad's a can. So he's either half Westie and half can or he's just full can and you've just been sold the wrong dog. But it turns out that cans are actually more expensive than Westies. So my brother didn't really care. He was like, oh, I got a great deal on a dog. <laughs> and we ended up with the little fluff ball. He's just incredible. I love him so much. I told you this was going to be nine minutes of me gushing about my dog. I'm trying to come up with some other fun stories about him. Oh yeah, he has a really, really deep, rough bark. Like, when you see him, you wouldn't expect that sound to come out of him. Like, you guys have probably heard him sometimes in the background of my videos, which, as I was trying to get him to do a voiceover, he wouldn't bark. He would only grizzle when I got his hot dog toy out, but he's got a really deep bark. So one time this fireman was coming around like all of our houses to teach us about fire safety, and he posted them something through the mailbox, and Fred started barking, so he ran, he ran all the way down our driveway and all the other firemen were all in the engine. <laughs> and I opened the door, I was like, do you wanna see him? And he was like, oh my God, he sounds huge. And I just showed him this tiny little terrier who's not even like knee high and all of his friends just started taking the mick out of him so hard. Then I also added some clothes onto him. He does just wear an orange collar and he doesn't really like wearing clothes. He doesn't approve of them. Although he does have a bandana for when we go on holiday to the seaside and I recently bought him a hot dog toy which he's obsessed with so I felt it was only right to dress him in a little hot dog outfit but this is his everyday wear he wears his orange collar when he's out and about and then at home he's just naked because we take his collar off him but that's a creative pet of my own dog I hope Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know if you've recreated your cats or dogs. Also tweet them to me at English Summer. I would love to see a picture of your real life pet and then your Sims pet. So definitely tweet them over to me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye guys.